guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So today for this episode of Phrases and Sayings, I'm actually going to be talking about a really common one call that goes, um, it's like a needle in a haystack. Now, what I, this particular one on was going to be a different idea that I had for discussion today, but you know what, it fit in with this phrase really well. So, the idea of a needle in a haystack, it can go two ways. It's been used two ways in the past, at least for me. Maybe there are more, but if there are more, I'm unaware of it. So, the phrase, it's like finding a needle in a haystack, um, pretty much means it's extremely difficult to find, and it's short. Which I'm sure anybody who's heard the phrase already knows that, but I'm sure there are some people out there who haven't. Um, it's probably rare if they haven't, but I'm sure there are. Now, my thoughts on this particular phrase are more comparisons to things that people have a tendency to think a lot. Good example of this would be that of what I was originally going to talk about, which is actually my current job, which is at Arby's, um, it brought to mind the idea that a lot of people have this mindset that fast food industries have two things that everyone, the common, commonly known misconception is all, emphasis on all, of them have two things in common. One, they all pay bad. And two, no one wants to work there because they all have like sucky management. They all have sucky experiences. Bad like competition. Blah, 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 blah. But every now and then, th that is true for the most part coming from someone who has actually worked fast food for most of the jobs that he's had. However, finding a proper fast food job that actually does do the opposite, pays well and actually has good employees, is like finding a needle in a haystack. It's there, but it's rare. I know this is a fact because I have worked, I believe, five different fast food type jobs. I thought there four. Unincluding the, I think it's four actually, unincluding the one I just got. And of those, literally just one of them was good. Had good employment, employers, had good people to work with, had good consumers. For those who don't know what that means, it, it's another term for customer in the business realm, um, or the business industry. And had a good environment in general. The job I'm referring to, I ended up working for five years. It was literally one that did that. Now... It also determines on the location as well, because just because one location of the industry works well doesn't mean another does. That's why it's a needle rather than a bunch of needles. Another good example of a needle and trying to find a needle in a haystack um, would be well. There are several examples. I think for those who are gamers and don't really think on the front of jobs. Like, younger younger people, for example. You, you younger ones, for example, if you're watching this. Uh, to give a better example of, like, this kind of thing, Xbox. I've noticed a lot of people have a tendency to either... It, it's, it's like, it's video game wars, which I'll get into that topic a different day. But Xbox being part of it, 
a lot of people have been seeming to get into it lately, that particular system lately, but here's the issue with that. Having a good Xbox is, once again, like finding a needle in a haystack. Finding a good, properly functioning Xbox is exactly that, trying to find a needle in a haystack. Because Microsoft, the company Microsoft that built them, is extremely well known for broken hardware. Now, don't get me wrong. The computer I'm using is, it's Lenovo, but it's also Windows, and Windows is Microsoft. And I like it. Just because I claim that doesn't mean I don't like it. I want to clarify that really quick. That being said, though, back to the topic at hand. Um, the reason I say this is because, for the most part, when people buy Xboxes, a lot of the time, especially for us who experienced the first generation of it and have experienced all of them since, Xbox has a tendency to break. Like back in the day, there was something called a Red Light of Doom. The Red Light of Doom was basically the Xbox malfunctioning. The hardware was causing issues. And this happened to me on the original, um, on the 360, and on the Xbox One. Three different models causing the same problem. Might I add, it happened twice on each model. Yeah. I went online to find out how common it was, and it was obscene how common that was. That's kind of why I say, for those who enjoy them and actually get working ones, you have found a needle in a haystack. One more example, just to kind of give out the idea of this, just so everyone has some kind of way to compare. So far, we've used gaming consoles, and we've used jobs. Not everyone thinks of the two of those. So how about one that a lot of people think about? Let's talk about the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe. That almost everyone can discuss. And if not, I'm sure one of the other two you'd be able to discuss as well. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is ex in personal opinion, an extremely good, extremely long, yes, but extremely good series. But every now and then, there will be one that will be not so good. And finding that one is like finding a needle in a haystack, mainly because of the factor that no one talks about them. For example, Thor the Dark World. That was one of a few closer to the beginning of this whole thing, the whole thing, where everyone watched it and they were like, eh. And it was rarely ever discussed again. Two good examples outside of that would also be The Incredible Hulk, which I actually personally like, but I understand why people think this way and Iron Man 2, and 3, now that I think about it. Those four on their own are four of very few really bad, by critics and public eye, um, MCU films. But they're, very, they're four of very, very few, of like almost 30 at this point, or at least if you're including like TV shows, which most of them, again, really good. Like, there's literally one I can think of of, like, seven. Yeah. Of the shows that kind of bombed. And that one, personal opinion, was Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But that's it. We're talking about a list of, like, 30-ish, 30, 35 different entertainment things in one, com one large series. That's, like, one out of seven. One out of every seven was bad. That's definitely in my eye a needle in a haystack because 
if you're looking for the bad ones, you're going to have a hard time finding them, especially since everyone's person, personal opinion is different, which makes it even harder. But that's kind of, I, I don't know. It, these are some pretty good examples in my mind of when you talk about the term, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. Because it's just so difficult to find. But I don't know. These are kind of my thoughts on it. I guess they were more examples than thoughts. But I kind of like the factor that 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 is there. The idea of a needle in a haystack is actually there. Just the idea on its own is really nice to have. So I don't know. These are my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? Um, what are your guys' thoughts on needles, the, the phrase, like finding a needle in a haystack? Let us know in the comments below. If you have a phrase that you'd like discussed on here, let us know down there as well. Want to check out any of the other ones discussed so far? Click the link on the side of my head over here. Um, if this is not quite floating your boat, you stuck around to the end of this, first of all, thank you. But second of all, maybe you'll find something that floats your boat a bit better over here. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, guys. We hope to see you all in another. See you guys later.